Okay. I have been looking forward to the Natero versus the King fight ever since they pretty much discussed who was going to be fighting whom. But after this episode, just seeing the King with an emotionless face is scarier than seeing him when he was angry. Now, this dude is a monster and this episode did a great job of showing off how how beast like these guards are even Yuppie who was at the bottom of my favorites has moved up considerably he turned into a machamp on steroids pretty much and then all those eyes just creeped me the fuck out knuckle was like man he's 10 times stronger than master I'm like oh my god these guards are not nothing to be fucked with. Even Poof gained some respect from me when he was karate chopping all those rocks. And Neferpito, you guys know I love me some Pito. Man, just seeing her eyes go red and her rush to the king like that. Wow, this episode was just great. The only complaint that I have is that the announcer or commentator or whatever you want to call him, he talked more than anybody else this entire episode. Like, I mean, even though everything was in slow motion and it was good to, you know, hear someone tell us what's going on, he literally talked more than any other character this episode. And it was getting a bit annoying, especially by the end. But for Zeno and the Tarot to acknowledge how strong Mediam is, is just, that says a lot because we saw how badass the Tarot was last episode. And he wasn't scared of Pito at all. But when the king walked straight through them, you can see the shock on the tarot and Zeno's face. The king versus the tarot is going to be awesome. And I have no idea who's going to deal with Yupi. But I did like that scene when Gon realized that, you know, Knuckle and Meliaron might be in trouble. And he was the first one to realize. And I like the slight character development that we got from Shoot. You know, he said that Gon broke his cage. He was always in the cage because he always wanted to be protected. And he never risked his own life. Basically, it's the gist of it. And Gon, this boy who is half his age and that's half of his strength has broken that cage and he's actually about to go risk his life and he says he's going to survive so he can thank god but this is some great character development for shoot man i mean he's an awesome character i love his design i love his nin abilities and i believe in some episodes way back they claimed him to be a coward and now that gone has broken that cage he can actually go out there and fight to his full potential and i can't wait to see more tag team action from knuckle and shoot malia and everyone else but who is going to be the one to take out Yupi. He is a beast. He demolished the whole staircase in a few seconds. But man, Kamugi, that is sad to see, man. The king is pissed off. So pissed off to the point where his face can't even express it. But that scene when Pito dived towards the king and she could sense his emotions through his aura, that right there already told me some shit was about to go down the next few episodes i'm sure are going to be an emotional roller coaster i cannot wait hopefully next episode we get some natero versus medium action i didn't watch the preview so you know if i probably should have before i made the review but anyway i can't wait for that i'm pretty sure that pito will be able to heal her hopefully because i think that the king and kamugi have some more development because he still wasn't sure what he wanted to do with her as we've seen in a few episodes ago and i want him him to find that answer like what is Kamugi to him although her death right now may be a realization to him like she may he may have loved her like as a daughter or something and that may push him over the edge and you know make his conquest for power that much more epic but hopefully she doesn't die hopefully Pito can heal her so the king and her can have some more words and some more development with each other but the face that the king gave Pito when he said can you please heal her oh my god chills everywhere man and big thumbs up to Natero and Zeno for actually standing there out of respect for that young girl's life because they could have went in and tried to you know take care of the king and Pito right there but it's a good thing they didn't it just shows their humanity and that they do have hearts they're not just heartless hunters who are coming to exterminate this race and I don't think the king was going to have that anyway I think if Natero and Zeno got in the way of you know uh Kamugi's healing Man, oh my god, the king would have went ham. He would have destroyed everything else besides Pito and Kamugi. But overall, this episode was great. The only complaints that I do have is, like I said, the announcer, commentator, whatever, he would not shut up. And everything at the beginning was stretched out because it wanted to emphasize how fast everything happened. So it decided to slow things up a lot. I mean, by a lot. Like the dragon dives were coming down slow as hell. And thumbs up to the king, too. He's a G, man. The way he walked through
through the tarot as you know was awesome but what makes that part so awesome when you really think about it they were distracted by the activation of pito's ability so the king could have just you know slit their throats right there with his big sail uh tail butt and he didn't. He walked by out of respect and, you know, so they can relocate. And that's awesome of the king. He really could have had both of them right there because they didn't even notice him until he already walked past. And when Poof got to the room, it seems he realized what happened because he had like the tiniest evil smirk on his face. Uh, he was happy that Kamugi is dead. And we see in a few episodes ago, he was plotting to kill her because she was changing the king's mind. And he wasn't digging that at all, which is understandable. Now, I can actually see poof you know trying to stall pito's progression on healing kamugi so the king won't be distracted by her anymore although in the end that would probably just make the king go more ballistic but in his mind you know kamugi is nothing but a hindrance but he might not do it since you know that would be going against the king's wishes but who knows i'm crossing my fingers that the future episodes are not as slow as this i mean it's okay to have a few episodes like this but it took too long for that up situation to resolve itself i mean they were running in slow motion up maybe 15 steps for like almost 10 minutes i was like come on get on with it i want to see what's going to happen next what is Yupi going to do i don't know but that punch that knuckle did like save the day in my opinion because Yupi would have went ham on him that dude is a monster but anyway tell me what you guys thought about this awesome episode this has been jv the chia like comment subscribe and i'm out